Or Good. Couldn't go much further back without opening the garage. So I've been dealing with this flat tire for too long and um, took my own advice, got some flat out. So we showed the, uh, the multi-seal version. This is like the small little gallons for smaller tires, but um, multi-seal, we had Rick out about a year ago, I guess it was. And he brought a whole test tire that he takes to all of his shows and uh, just traveling around the country and doing things with. And it's just mounted to like a receiver on the back of his, on the back of his truck. And he takes like a railroad spike or something, a big old spike and just hammers it into the tire. Like he's got hundreds and hundreds of punctures in there and it just doesn't leak, it holds air. It's just crazy. And so we finally got some of the stuff. I need to use it. I've actually had my, my air, air hose out here just refilling it on the random times that I, I come use it and just fill it back up and then it goes flat by the next day every time. So we're gonna do something about that today. I bought some flat out. You can save 5% with code GWT on that. We'll put a link to their website. Um, comes with the stuff you need to do. And basically, if you get a lot of flat tires like I do, I should put this in every single thing, machine that I have. I just haven't yet. They've got a version on the multi-seal website that actually mixes with liquid ballast like RimGuard as well. So you can put it in an air-filled tire or with a liquid-filled tire. Pretty cool stuff. But I am sick and tired of dealing with this flat. So hopefully this takes care of it. Comes with everything you see here. You can buy it in different sizes for different tires. This I think would fill, if I remember right, would fill all four of these tires on this uh, UTV. If I filled all four, but right now we're gonna do one and then um, I'll feel the pain again next time I get a flat. Although we've been using that mini dump primarily. So what I'm doing, uh, well, let me tell you the instructions. There's only five steps I think it was. Rotate the tire so the valve stem is near the top. That's what we just got done doing. Remove the valve core with the tool provided and allow the tire to deflate fully. I think we're already at that point, but we'll, we gotta get the valve core out of there so we can fill it up. Then you attach this um, pump, fill it up, remove the hose, replace the valve core, inflate to the recommended pressure and re, re, uh, re put the, the valve cap back on. Let me put that somewhere, I'm not gonna lose it. It just has little grooves. It's got two sizes, or two, yeah, two sizes and two sides with a groove in there. Just put the right one in there. A little bit of air, but not much left. Okay, so that's our valve core. All right, don't want to lose that. We'll put that in the same bag. Put our tool back in there. Put that on there. Oh, I don't think we need that though, do we? Sure, why not? There. Put that in there. <clears throat> okay, so it says um, one pump equals one ounce. And in a, uh, a tire 27 inches or smaller, use 32 ounces. I guess I should double check that. I think I did before, but I should double check. Because 32 ounces, 64, and then double 128. I feel like that's what it was gonna be for this, this whole thing. So anyway, um, one ounce per stroke. So 32 strokes for 32 ounces. The difference between flat out and the competition up to a half inch Seals punctures up to a half inch compared to a quarter inch from the competition. Single treatment works for 10 plus years versus up to a couple years. Cleanup stays liquid, easy cleanup with water versus latex or adhesive base becomes a sticky mess. So it's got some advantages there. Let's do it. So I got to put this on here like this and it's not going to spill all out. I guess this fits right on, doesn't it? Let's get that right on there all the way. That's as far as that can go, huh? Make sure that's on there, that part already came on. You ready? 
See if this works. Watch it fill up the tube. Oh, we gotta wait. I'm not gonna count. Ooh, so it's not there, it's almost there. I'll count. Okay, so there it's there now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's 20. Wow, it does seem, I mean, that's just one ounce per pump, huh? 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Okay. So I gotta take that out and then replace the valve core. Here, can you, can you show them that? See how that, that uh, the end is, you know, it's not round, so this can fit right around there. See how that works? So they can grab it, spin. Is that how I, uh, that must be the end that went in though. Oh yeah, okay, that goes, this part goes, this part goes all the way into the tire on the inside, and then it is fitting those threads. Right in there. Okay. Is this gonna make a big mess? Mm. Not a big mess, that's nice. Okay. Get this on here. And get that to twist back in. Okay. So far, this has been pretty easy. Okay, that's on there nice and tight. Put my. Oh, we don't want to put the cap on yet. Um, next step, we got a filler full of air. Okay, well, that's it. Okay, so this part's the easy part, right? I'll know by this time tomorrow, I'd know when I wake up tomorrow if it actually works or not. It didn't say anything about driving around, like to, you know, like get it to fill out or anything like that, which I still feel like I might do that anyways, just because it seems like it would make sense even if it, even if they don't talk about it. The other thing I don't know about is we did add 32 liquid ounces in there, so that is more weight that's in this side versus the other side now. I almost feel like it would be a smart move to put it in the other side so it's balanced out. Maybe that only matters at higher speed applications. I'm not sure, because this is, I think they have low speed and high speed applications. You'll see on their website, um, it'll, it'll go through all that. So we don't sell this stuff, but you can go to uh, the flat out website and the multi-seal website and, and get a pump. That's super handy, like really, that wasn't very hard. So as long as this works, which we'll find out here, um, because otherwise it'll be flat, it fixes most types of punctures, right? I mean, I don't know what type of issue I have that's leaking out right now. There are certain things that it, I think it doesn't fix, but it fix, fixes most things. So uh, we're gonna see if it works for this one and um, fingers crossed. We'll find out soon. So that's what I've got for you today. This is one of those things you want to do as a preventative measure. And we're doing this as a, what's the opposite of preventative? Post-ventative measure. And uh, yeah, I need to order more of it so I can put it in my tractors too, because I'm sure I'm going to get flats. And I'm sure I'm going to be in the same position saying the same thing at some point in the future, doing this after the fact. Now, we don't sell this stuff, but we do sell tractors and tractor attachments. So if you're in the market for a new tractor or a tractor attachment for the front end loader or the three point hitch, we'd love to earn your business. If you're not sure what to get, what size you need, what hookup you need, well, just send us an email and give us your tractor making your model. We'll get you fixed up. We'll get you squared away with the right thing to fit your machine. And we sell and ship nationwide. That's what we do. We have a big warehouse. We sell and ship all over the country every day of the week. So go to goodworkstractors.com to check out what we have to offer. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.
car the next day full of air. What do you know? It actually worked. <laughs> That's pretty nice. Here's the other tire. I didn't screw this one up either. We flattened it down, filled it up, put air back in it, and it's holding there too. So problem solved. This stuff works. I am happy to say. Don't know if it fixes every single problem out there, but it worked this time, and it's supposed to work for most of them.